without lashes. It's weird. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So today I am bringing you another drugstore haul. This one is kind of a mini haul. It's also a collective haul, as in I've been collecting products. <laughs> Crack myself up. A lot of this is Wet n Wild, and the only place I can find Wet n Wild is Superstore. Superstore! Also, I'm sorry that I missed Monday's upload. I've been trying really hard to do a Monday upload and a Friday upload. I have been so incredibly sick this whole week that I couldn't edit, I couldn't do anything. Anything. So I'm sorry I missed Monday's upload, but you guys are seeing this video on Friday. I did film my updated highlighting and contouring routine, which I've been promising for a while, and that will go up Monday. So you're seeing this Friday, the next video will be up Monday. It's like a circle. Alright, first up are some blushes. I've been on a bit of a blush kick all month. I don't know, I just seem, seems like a lot of new blushes are coming out, which is exciting. So the first item is by Maybelline and it is their Master Contour Palette. This is nothing new, well, I mean, not really. It has been out for a while. It was kind of pricey, like it was close to $20, so I was hesitant, hesitant to pick it up, but I did and I've been playing with it all month and I have a pretty good opinion of it so far. Oh, I got the lighter one, by the way. Okay, so you've got the contour, the blush and the highlight. The contour I am wearing today, but more as a bronzer versus a contour. It's a very warm, like terracotta type shade, and I really don't like it as an actual contour. It doesn't make the best shadow, but it is a decent bronzer. I don't think it's a great bronzer for right now, being that it's still like kind of cold and not super springy outside. But I think in the summer, this would make a really nice, like, warm terracotta kind of bronzer. It does make a beautiful eyeshadow. Then next up is this blush, which I love, 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 love this blush. It is amazing. It's very, very pigmented. You need to use a light hand with this or have a stipple brush on handy because it is very pigmented. I love this blush. And then the third one is the highlight, which... It's okay. I prefer like a bright see me from space kind of highlight, but this is a nice everyday type highlight. This is a nice travel palette also. You don't have to use this as a contour or a bronzer. Like I said, you could use it as an eyeshadow. It makes a beautiful crease color. And then you have your blush and your highlight. So you could just throw this in with, if you pack like me, with all of your other stuff. Next up is a blush from CoverGirl, and this is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. I think this one is medium rose. The sticker came off. I think there's light rose and medium rose. <coughs> Excuse me. And I picked up the medium rose, and this is beautiful. Beautiful. I did use this one in my updated highlighting and contouring video, which, like I said, you will see next. You will see that on Monday. And it is beautiful. It has a really nice glow to it. It's not sparkly or chunky or glittery. It just has like a sheen glow to it. It is beautiful. It is very pigmented, which surprised me. I'm like getting ahead of myself. Oh, calm down. I picked up two blushes from Wet n Wild. I keep hearing about these on like everybody's channel. I never tried the original ones. These are like the new, well it says new formula, and I never try like the old formula, so everybody keeps talking about how amazing the new formula is, and I saw them and I was like, okay, I gotta try these. So I got pearlescent pink and rose champagne. It's pearlescent pink. Yeah, that's pretty. It's rose champagne, and I'm actually wearing this one today can't really see the swatch. That's the rose champagne and the pearlescent pink. So this one, the rose champagne, is more of like a neutral kind of almost brown tone and it's great for just something something light and easy when you're doing a more, a more dramatic look. Our two eyeshadow palettes by NYC. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And these are by Demi Lovato, or they have like collaboration with Demi Lovato. So I picked up the Natural palette and the Showtime palette. I peeled off the sticker on this one. And then there was, there was one more. I think it was Glam. I think it was Glam, but I ended up picking up these two. So far, I am really, really impressed with these. I can say I like these way better than the CoverGirl palettes. Those ones are just way too messy. Like they, they fall out everywhere. They just make a mess everywhere. Usually fallout doesn't bother me a lot. But with the CoverGirl palettes, there is so much fallout that it's, it's ridiculous. But these are very pigmented. They blend really nicely. They're creamy. I'm actually surprised how well they blend, but NYC shadows are pretty good. So today I have this orange all over the lid on top of a black base. And I have this tan color and this kind of light brown matte shade in my crease. And something else. What else did I put in there? brown and a little hint of this brown in the crease also and that's how I created this look I feel so weird not wearing false lashes today but I just I'm so stuffed up I couldn't there's no way my eyes are already watery so I feel weird only wearing mascara like I don't know if you're somebody who wears eyelash like false lashes almost every day or pretty close to every day and then you go and like just wear mascara one day, you, you feel naked. It's weird. It's just weird. Next up are two nail polishes, also by Wet n Wild. And these are the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. This one is Periwinkle... <coughs> oh, seriously. So rude. Excuse me. This one is Periwinkle of an Eye. Periwinkle of an Eye. And this one is Lavender Out Loud. This is what I have on my nails today. And this one did chip up here, but I am ridiculously tough with my nails and my hands. I'm always doing stuff and I'm not careful about my nails or my hands or my ring and I should be. So I'm not too upset that I need to touch it up like I think it'd be really easy just to touch it up and this actually this hand could use a second coat anyway <laughs> I did these yesterday so anyway so far I really like it it says that it'll stay on for two weeks I think that's what the display said it said up to two weeks of like color and shine but it went on really nicely really smoothly it dried down really well it came off the skin like around the nail really easily so so far I'm really liking them and I do plan on picking up some more colors next up is a dry shampoo this is the Batiste dry shampoo but this one is a hint of color dark and deep brown and I'm losing my voice <sighs> so the only Batiste cans I can never find are the extra large or the XXL or whatever the original the tropical and and the blush I think those are the only ones that I normally see and I love the blush one the blush one is my favorite but in Superstore I came across this dark one and I always complain about dry shampoo in general not just Batiste but dry shampoo in general leaving that white cast if you have darker roots or darker hair you know exactly what I'm talking about it's a pain if you rub it in really well and brush it out really well, then you'll be okay, but still, you're like, I have all this white powder in my hair. So I was very excited to try the dark one. I tried it today on very not clean hair. Like I said, I've been sick all week, so it's like hot bath or jump in and out of the shower super quick. No time for hair washing. None of that. So far, I really did enjoy it. It smells really good. It's... I can't, exp I can't explain the smell. It's very like subtle. There's a little hint of almost perfumey, but it's very light and 
kind of feminine. I don't know. It has a really nice smell. Not like some of the other Batiste. Even the floral one can be really overpowering. My only concern was that it did stain my hands and the perimeter of my face, like around my temple area, when I was rubbing it in. It did come off pretty easily. I was able to just kind of go like this and then wash my hands and it came off. So I sprayed it and originally it looked white and then it kind of got darker as it soaked in. And then when I went to rub it in, that's when I noticed I had like brown on my fingers <laughs> and it was kind of bleeding down here. It's almost like when you color your hair and it bleeds down. But like I said, it did wash off really easily. It rubbed in really well. It combed out really well. I think it looks really good. My roots are horrible right now. Like I definitely need to do, you know, a good color, but I was really impressed that it did leave like a hint of brown instead of just white powder. And the last product is by e.l.f. And this is the Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And I like destroyed the box. Fun fact about Mel, I hate cardboard. I, we do not, that's probably how I chip my nail. We do not get along. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. So I'll try to read the back before my voice goes. So it says, primes the under eye area to help prevent concealer from setting into fine lines and wearing off. Infused with vitamin C and E, shea, green tea, aloe, and Infused with vitamin C and E, shea, green tea, aloe, and something, I have no idea. Jink, jinkgo biloba, sure. To nourish and condition the skin. The sheer silky smooth texture reduces the appearance of fine lines, puffiness, and wrinkles. So you use it just as any other regular primer except for under the eyes. I used it today. So far I'm liking it. It had kind of a sticky texture to it which I thought was was kind of interesting but I feel like it helped the concealer cling to that area and not in a bad way and it hasn't like settled or creased or anything like and I've had I've had this on all day <clears throat> as you can tell I'm like uh, done. So I'm really impressed, like my under eyes, I'm sure if I took my makeup off, my under eyes would look horrible right now. Like not only am I sick, but I'm fighting allergies on top of that. So I'm sure my eyes are actually like purple and blue and puffy and disgusting. But so far this primer is doing a good job. So I'm liking that. Keep you guys updated. All right, so that is everything for this drugstore, kind of mini drugstore haul. I wanted to share with you guys what I have found. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also make sure to check out my social media. The links are down below. My nose is itchy. That is it from me for now and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.